For those of you watching, it's a write-up on, on NVR uh, written by Charlie479. And in the search function, you can just search for Charlie479 and find it, or you can search for NVR. Go ahead. I think the idea... Okay, so they're pre-selling. They're not building until they pre-sell, right? Anything else they're doing here? They're buying back stock, so you sort of know what they're doing with their cash, right? Anything else? You know, what is a, t what is a typical home builder? What, what's the preconception of a typical home builder? Right, so in other words, usually home building has a lot of capital expenditure involved. You have to buy the land, you have to build the house, and then you go sell it. That could be a very capital intensive business, and then you hope to sell it. And the thesis here is that, that that's not what these guys are doing. Number one, they're taking the land costs down by only buying options on land. So they have inventory to, to build in the future if they need it, but they're buying an option on the land. So that doesn't take up a lot of capital. And it's an option, so they're not obligated for the rest. Um, they're pre-selling, so they probably have money ahead of time before they have to start building and, and a pre-sold you know, I'm sure they're taking some risk there. I'd want to look in to see how much is actually put down uh, by the home builder before I start building, but I'm assuming they're collecting more money than they need to, to get going and then have a schedule to pay. Um, so this is sound, you know, it's a home builder, so it's not, you know, it's kind of a well-known industry, so yes. Right, I think he answers that in a, in a sense, he, you know, there's a size issue. In other words, not everyone can option huge tracts of land. Um, also, I would imagine in building, there's economies of scale. If you're building a whole development out, you can build stuff fairly cheaply. So you have to have some size, but there are other people with size. That's true, yeah. Right, but I guess they're getting large returns on capital. So I guess so far, they haven't been overpaying. I guess there's some... Some benefit, yeah, I Chase. Want to see how they, uh, right, and um, my only guess here is that they've changed their business model. In other words, traditionally it was they were buying the land, they were building the house, and then trying to sell it. And I think it developed over a period of time. So I would say when this was written in 2001, the uh, last downturn had probably been in the early 90s. Um, and I would want to see if they were using the same business model at that time. And also, you'd want to see how much their sales might drop off. Yes. Uh, by going backwards, you could see how much sales could possibly drop off. On the other hand, they're doing businessly different, uh, business differently because they're pre-selling. So obviously, they might collect just the deposit on some of these things, and maybe some of these sales might fall through completely, yes. Right. Well, you know, uh, one thing, if you look at this, they have a long history of doing this. There are only so many people who can buy huge, these are huge tracts of land that they're, you know, build, buying for development. Um, so, you know, these are all good questions, but on the other hand, you have a company that, the thesis here, if I had to say it in two or, th uh, two or three sentences, is something, the fact that this is trading at eight times earnings, seven times forward earnings, uh, they don't put much capital into the business, they have things pre-sold beforehand. And if I were looking at this business, I'd say, wh when I'm looking at something that's earning a lot of money, I don't... I just care that that reverses and they've invested a lot of money and they lose a lot of money in the future. But with this, what looks attractive here is it's, it's selling at seven times forward earnings. They don't put a lot of capital into the business. They're not taking a lot of risk. So if there's another downturn, maybe they take a small lump for a period of time but probably won't actually lose money. And they wait for the, the upturn to come and they'll earn that money. So perhaps this isn't normalized earnings. Perhaps it is. But at seven times, uh, there's almost nothing you could, you could, you could buy at that that level. So, you know, I cheated a little. So we, we know from 2001 how this worked out. And I'm not showing the bad ones, but uh, now you can see that, right? Um, let's make it incredibly small. All right. Well, well, it was at 143 when this was written up. And I guess now it's over 800. So uh, one of the problems there was you thought the real estate boom might end but you were buying it at seven times earnings uh, with a very good business. Um, I doubt, uh, I happen to know, the guy who wrote it up, bless you, uh, didn't know this was going to travel up to 800, but I think he, he saw a double when he bought it, so I guess he had a margin of safety. <laughs>